Hello students. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss with the LS coupling. This is a very important lecture and which is connected to the previous lecture. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the fine structure of the hydrogen atom in which we learned about the term value. Now let us revise first of all about the term value. This is the formula for the term value which is equal to 2s plus 1 Lj. Here S is spin quantum number, L is orbital quantum number and J is total angular momentum quantum number. And this formula is valid only for one electron system. In one electron system obviously we have S equal to half and the value of J which is equal to L plus minus S then it comes out to be L plus minus half. And we have learned about the value of L. For L is equal to 0, we have the name of subshell S. For L is equal to 1, we have P. For L is equal to 2, we have D. And for L is equal to 3, we have F subshell. And similarly, for multi electron system, the same formula is written in the capital letters 2S plus 1 L J value. Here we have capital L, capital S, capital J. Capital L is orbital angular momentum. Obviously, if we apply the H cut value with a number, then it becomes C angular momentum. Otherwise, it is a number only. So, S is spin angular momentum, J is total angular momentum, and corresponding to each value of L, we have symbol S, P, T, F for corresponding values of L equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. So, now we are going to discuss the LS coupling. It is simply the coupling between the angular momenta of multi electron system. We can take the example of multi electrons, but for simplicity, we will take the example of only two electrons. Let us suppose we have two electron system for which one electron has angular momentum L1, second electron has angular momentum L2. Let us say these are vector quantities. Then the vector capital L is vector sum of L1 and L2. In pictorial representation, if this is the direction of L1 and this is the direction of L2, according to triangle law of vector addition, we can find out the value of capital L. Similarly, we have S1, S2 for two electron system. The value of capital S is S1 plus S2. Again, in vector representation diagram, we can apply the triangle law of addition to find out the total value of capital S. Now, let us suppose we have more than two electron system. Let us say we have L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4. So we can use polygon law of vector addition L1, L2, L3, L4. We will get the value of L here. Similarly, S1, S2, S3, S4. We get the value of S by applying the polygon law of vector addition. In the multi electron system, this is the formula in vector form to find out the value of L and S. Let us come to the magnitude form here. In magnitude form, if we take the example of two electrons, let us say for one electron we have L1, for second electron we have L2. So, the value of L will be equal to from L1 plus L2 to mod of L1 minus L2. We can take an example. Let us say L1 is equal to 1, L2 is equal to 2. So, the value of L will be from 1 plus 2 to mod of 1 minus 2. That is the value of L is 3, 2, 1 that is L is equal to 3 comma 2 over 1. We will go on decreasing 1 from the addition value up to the value of mod. We can take another example. Let us say 
एल वन इज इक्वल टू वन एल टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो द वैल्यू ऑफ एल वन प्लस एल टू इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू फोर एंड एल वन माइनस एल टू मॉड इज इक्वल टू मॉड ऑफ वन माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू टू द वैल्यू ऑफ एल लाइज फ्रॉम फोर टू टू दैट इज फोर थ्री टू वी कैन टेक वन एन अदर एग्जाम्पल लेट अस से एल वन इज इक्वल टू वन एल टू इज इक्वल टू वन अगेन सो द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपिटल एल लाइज फ्रॉम वन प्लस वन टू वन माइनस वन मॉड दैट इज L1 plus L2 is equal to 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. L1 minus L2 mod is equal to 1 minus 1 mod is equal to 0. So the value of L is 2 to 0. 2 1 0. For two electron system, obviously we have S1 is equal to half and S2 is equal to half. So the value of capital S is equal to Half plus half one and half minus half zero. Only two values one and zero. Now we will find out the value of J for which the name is L S coupling. First we will calculate all the capital L values. Then we will calculate the S value. Then we will add up L and S to get the value of J. So the formula to calculate the value of J is. L plus S to mod of L minus S. Let us take the example from this system. We have L one is equal to one, L two is equal to two. Capital L values are three, two, one. S1 is equal to half. S2 is equal to half. Capital S values are one or zero. To find out the value of J, we will take every value of L with every value of S. Let me give an example. For L is equal to three, we will take S is equal to one. Then for L is equal to three, we will take S is equal to zero. For l equal to two, we will take s equal to one. For l equal to two, we will take s equal to zero. For l equal to one, we take s equal to one. And for l equal to one, we will take s equal to zero. Apply this formula here. We will calculate the value of j. L plus S means three plus one. That is four. Two L minus S mod. That is three minus one mod. That is two. From four to two. That is four three two. Similarly, apply here. The value of J is three plus zero to three minus zero. Obviously, only one value three. Again. For these values, apply this formula: two plus one, three; two minus one, four, one. From three to one, that is three, two, one. Again, we have two plus zero, two minus zero, only two. For this value, we have one plus one, two; one minus one, zero. Here simply we have j is equal to one plus zero is equal to one. So this is all about the LS coupling to find out the value of j. So for L one is equal to one, L two is equal to two. We have calculated the so many j values. Now corresponding to these j values, we can find out the term values. Let us calculate the term values corresponding to these j L S values. 
So the formula is 2s plus 1 L G. For first value, s equal to 1, 2s plus 1 will be 3. Let us write the value of L here 0, 1, 2, 3, S, P, D, F. For L is equal to 3, we have F symbol, J value. So we have three J values and corresponding to three J values, we have three spectroscopic terms, 3 F4, 3 F3, 3 F2. Let us go to the second point. For L is equal to 3, we have F again. For S0, 2S plus 1 will be 1. There is only one J value that is 3. This one 3. The third point is for S equal to 2, we have D. S equal to 1 means 2S plus 1 is 3. And the J values are 3D3. 3d2, 3d1. Fourth point, we have 1d2. Fifth point, we have 3p2, 3p1, 3p0. And for last point, we have 1p1. So these are the spectroscopic term values corresponding to those values of L and S. Here uh, we have discussed one very important point. This 2s plus 1 value is called multiplicity. Multiplicity which gives the number of values corresponding to a given value of L. Let us see, for this value, the multiplicity is 3, so we have 3 values. For this value, multiplicity is 1, we have only 1 term value. Again, we have 3 multiplicity and we have 3 values. Here, we have multiplicity 1, 1 value, 3, 3 values, 1, 1 value. 